So British America Tobacco is currently recruiting for their graduate training program and in this video I'm going to walk you through all the stages of the recruitment process. I'm going to explain the things you need to prepare and things you need to know in order to be recruited for British America Tobacco's graduate training program. Hello everyone and welcome back to the YouTube channel. I am Reda Olabisi. If you're for the first time, I need you to smash that subscribe button, okay? It really helps my channel to grow. Also, feel free to send me a DM on Instagram if you have questions relevant to the types of videos that I make on this channel. My handle is at Ruda.o. For those who do not have Instagram pages, you can also send me a message on LinkedIn at Ruda or LBC. Alright, so let's get into it. There are five stages in total for British American Tobacco's recruitment process. The first one is the Pymetric Assessment. Now, the Pymetric Assessment is a gamified assessment that big companies use in order to kind of filter and reduce the amount of candidates that would move on to the next stage, right? So for the biometric assessment, it's a kind of game that is used to assess your emotional and your behavioral attributes. Now, there are no wrong or right answers because it is not an aptitude test. It's just a game to kind of assess and kind of match you with roles. So it's a tool that is used to match people to different roles. There are about 12 games in total and you're expected to take about 2 to 3 minutes on each game. So in total, you're expected to take about 30 minutes to complete the games in this stage. So if you are shortlisted after the biometric test, you'll be expected to take a video interview. Now, what is important for you to notice is that this video interview, you will not be speaking to anybody. You will just be interacting with your laptop screen, right? So during this interview, the questions will be displayed on the screen and you'll be expected to answer those questions. Now, also, you get about a minute to prepare the answers to your questions before you attempt the question the time you get before you attempt the question is for you to kind of gather the key points you want to make and structure your answers if you pass your video interview be shortlisted for the next stage which is a face-to-face -face interview with the hiring team now it could be virtual or physical but it's very important for you to note what they are looking for in this stage in this stage you're expected to have known or studied the british american tobacco's leadership capabilities i think there are like about five or four of them you can go to the website to check for those leadership capabilities and also prepare examples of how you've demonstrated or instances where you've demonstrated this leadership capabilities as well also you're advised to use the star method in answering your questions i've spoken about this a lot star method is an approach that you use to answer situational based questions so the s stands for situation t stands for task a stands for action r stands for results so you can also go online and google how to use the str technique and you'll see different examples so if they ask you for example tell me about a time where you exhibited leadership skills or something what you're expected to do is talk about the situation when that happened talk about the task talk about the action that you took and talk about the results that was achieved as a result of the action that you've taken if you pass the interview with the hiring team you'll be shortlisted for the assessment center which is the fourth stage so we all know the assessment center is a kind of situation whereby you are divided into groups and you are given a case study right so you're supposed to demonstrate teamwork and things like that so you'd be expected to be able to explain your thought processes and how you're able to get the answers that you've chosen so you have the assessors of the person who is in charge ask you questions surrounding how do you arrive at particular answers that you've chosen and things like that so assessment center is pretty straightforward it's basically a group work and then you'll be asked questions on the case study that you've been given so if you're shortlisted after the assessment center then you'll be invited for the final interview which is a meeting with the directors right this is the final stage of the interview so this stage is just kind of to help them know you better and things like that and this is the final stage of the interview so just to reiterate there are five stages for british america to make a global graduate program the first one is the biometric assessment which is a gamified pre-employment assessment the second one is the video interview where you're expected to make a kind of pre-recorded video in order for them to shortlist you for the next stage the third stage is the interview with the hiring team then if they are shortlisted after this stage you get moved on to the next stage which is the assessment center then if you also pass your assessment center you shortlisted for the final interview which is the interview with the directors so this has brought us to the end of today's video do not forget to smash that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up